dead draw gaming like no one ever was wake up dead jars that was the uh suggestion that mark manning mark manning i think it's mark sorry if i said it wrong but that's what mark said i should say wake up dead jars like wake the dead i'm assuming is what he's going for i don't know if that works for everybody but it was pretty good for me and i didn't really get any other suggestions so i'm going with that uh and it's a new vlog and great news the Christmas tree is gone. The bed is still there, but the Christmas tree is gone, as you can see. And I'm using a different camera because the sound is just terrible on the GoPro. So I went back to an older camera, and Dan came down and brought me this great little tripod that I can use, and I can actually see myself. And I don't know why you guys watch me, but hey, thank you. You guys are awesome. We're gonna do a quick little run around. I'm gonna give my thoughts on life and not really life but i'm just gonna give you an update on a bunch of stuff i'm really excited we just had collinsville regionals it was a lot of fun to watch hopefully you guys like the stream i paid attention to the stream just because we're streaming madison boom i know i talked about that a little bit last week that's a really big deal to us uh, because we've never streamed before so this is brand new for us so we want to do something amazing and something special and i'm talking to a lot of like like really big sponsors hopefully uh, because the stream does cost money so hopefully we can get a lot of that stuff uh, paid for and then we can hopefully offer some free things to different people but we'll talk about that at a later episode uh, not too much has changed for the most part except actually there has been some decent changes so um, there's still a mess over here so there's my coffee mug right there it's Pluto Pluto is the dog of the day, and there's still a big mess over here, a big mess over here, a big mess over there. Again, this is all sorted stuff, but I'm actually working on getting it sorted. This right here, this box right here, uh, which there's about seven, six thousand cards left in, that is all that I have left to sort. That's it. I've sorted a ton, and that's all that's left. So everything down here is sorted, everything over here is sorted. You guys are going on a roller coaster right now, but everything over here is sorted. The thing I want to show you is um, right over here, and it's this. So there you go. That's how it's gonna look. This is pretty cool, right? Like, so Ultra Prism, Common Uncommon Colorless. This is like I'm gonna fill up this entire shelf, probably some of this one, but I've got like Ancient Origins, Gym Challenge, Primal Clash, Commons and Uncommons, and they'll be like a box for each one so I got a lot of that done over the weekend it takes literally hours if you sort cards you know how long it takes but the goal is to get everything updated on the website and it takes a super long time to do that very frustrating very annoying but I did find this cool I found a couple cool cards so here's an E3 Pikachu while I was sorting through bulk you can see that little E symbol right over there uh, there was another one somewhere Ooh. I don't know where it is, but it's a like a Warner Brothers W stamped one. I don't know where that went, but it's pretty cool. I did get some cool stuff in the mail, like this Charizard EX came back. Um, I got, oh my goodness, I dropped that. I got my PSA cards back, so we finally got our first PSA cards back. And really, if you haven't watched it yet, this is the highlight of it. So this is a Gem Mint. I feel like this is probably backwards, but you can see the gem mint. You can see the first edition. You can see what card this is. This is a gem mint first edition. Blaine's Charizard. That whole oh, super cool. Uh, and I told people that I would look to see how many Charizard GXs of the full art version. This one right here that we got a gem mint on uh, were available. And there's 85. 85 gem mint 10s which is a little bit more than I anticipated but nowhere near like the full art mega GX or mega EX or nowhere near the rainbow rare GX full art version there's like 156 so uh, definitely not like a super 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 popular card as far as grades go but that's okay I'm really happy with that I'm really happy with our PSA definitely check out Ludkins they're amazing Charlie is a very dear friend Love that guy. So he's the U.S. rep for Ludkins. 
give him a find, we can put his information in the link below, or it's in the last video, the PSA video that I shot of the actual unboxing, which I didn't know any of those cards. I told Charlie I wanted to be surprised, and whoo, my whoosh, that 10, whoo, that first edition Blaine Star is amazing. So did you guys watch the Collinsville stream this weekend? Let me know in the comment section below if you watched it, what you liked, what you didn't like of the actual stream of the event. Congrats to Ian Rob. Amazing. Congrats to Natalie Champagne, who almost became the first woman to win the biggest regional ever. I mean, she played fantastically. She had the same list as, like, Andrew Mahone and at least one other player, but she played Buzzwall Lycanroc, and Ian Rob took it down. Amazing, amazing job. We've got some really cool interviews coming up. Uh, Natalie is going to be on the podcast coming up this week, or depending on when this video came out, the last podcast that we just shot. Also, Tord Reklov, who has won three international tournaments since they, since they became a thing. Uh, we're going to do an interview with him. I was talking to him a little bit earlier today, and he's super stoked. He's a really cool guy, really nice, really down to earth, and obviously a fantastic Pokemon player. So be on the lookout for that. Other than that, I bought a lot of Mews. From Fates Collide, here's some. I've got about 75 others upstairs. I bought Muse because Malamar is coming out in the next set. I think Muse are going to be big. I did get a couple of these in. So this is Shining Charizard, and this is a Charizard Gold Star. I'm super excited about that. Um, here you go. Here's a Incubator Mewtwo Gem Mint. Here's a Mega Charizard EX Full Art Gem Mint. Super excited about that. I'm really excited about this here this is fantastic uh, and hopefully next week I'm hoping that I will have like most of it done uh, like I said before it takes a lot of time and a lot of energy and that amongst like shipping orders out it's a lot of work and I don't have a whole lot of time for work because I'm busy actually working my full-time job and raising a daughter and I have a family, and that takes up a lot of time. But I'm super stoked for Madison. Darren and Dan and myself are doing a lot of planning. Pay attention to this week's podcast. I'm sure Dan will go over his trip to Collinsville, which he didn't do too well. Um, you know, he did... He actually did better than I thought he would do. Don't tell him I said that. We're going to do our snack pack. I'm reaching into the box, and it's probably going to be Ultra Prism. And it's... Ultra Prism. So we're not going to talk about the out of print stuff even though I did talk to my distributor and they still don't have any booster boxes in stock. That's okay. Flip the camera around. Bear with me while I get this set up. You guys are going to go all over the place. Look at that nice background there. Okay, so we're opening up Ultra Prism. Let's hope for a white code because that'll be sick. Ooh, oh, we got one. Okay, let's give it away. It is, there you go, take that, enjoy it. I'm not gonna feel if it's a GX or not. I'm just gonna go, just gonna go for it. We got a Fighting Energy, Kranidos, Alolan Dugtrio, Escape Board, Passimian, Shinx, Carnivine, Murkrow, Magnemite, Reverse Hollow is a Boizel, and we got one, it's a Palkia. So probably, not quite, but probably, not really the card that we wanted, but we'll put it in the unsorted pile of GXs, which is actually under this giant box here of Ultra Rares, so we're actually not going to put it in there. We'll have to go through it. Other than that, I don't really have a whole lot for you guys this week. Um, keep the suggestions coming. You guys are awesome. Make sure to hit that subscribe and that like button and share this. We've grown a lot, and we owe it all to people like you. Let me know what you thought of Collinsville, if you watched it, it was huge, it was like 1100 Masters, which is, whew, that's absolutely insane, but I did enjoy watching it, I wish the stream was a little bit better, I'm not going to give my two cents because I don't want to say anything too derogatory, uh, the only thing I do want to say is don't steal, uh, if you follow me on Twitter, Danny underscore underscore O, um, somebody on our team had a lot of stuff stolen from them when they were at Collinsville and that's super not cool. Uh, so don't take stuff that doesn't belong to you. We want to make this community amazing and when people take other people's things that kind of doesn't make things amazing. So I'm sorry that the progress is slow but 
we are still growing, we're still doing a lot, and we're spending a lot, investing a lot back into the business. So we have this giant pro team, and we're constantly buying more and more inventory. Like when we started, we had one card. That's it, just one. And we've grown to almost a million, and we owe it all to you guys. Uh, I don't know yet what our plans are for YouTube and Twitch and all that stuff. We're going to continue just kind of going with the flow and seeing what you guys want. But you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. And until next time, uh, what does Dan say? What's up, Dead Drawers? And welcome to another episode of Dan Slams. See ya.